What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 33 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that Abby scored 87, 93, 96, and 89 on her first four history quizzes. And we're trying to figure out what score Abby needs to get on her fifth quiz to have an average of exactly 91 over all five quizzes. Now this question, as you probably guessed, deals with the idea of mean or the so-called typical way that we find average by adding all of our numbers up and dividing them by how many there are. So let's go ahead and represent that here. If there are five quizzes, and then their average is all 91, that means that I need to add a whole bunch of numbers together, divide it by five, and get 91. And the problem gives us four of our numbers, 87, 93, 96, 89, but it doesn't give us the fifth one. So 87 plus 93 plus 96 plus 89 plus what number out of these answer choices divided by 5 would give us 91. So let's go ahead and actually work through this. And I will start by saying that if we treat this like an equation, we're adding all these numbers to this number that we don't know and we're dividing it by 5. If we want to get rid of the dividing part first, because we have a whole bunch of stuff on top of this fraction, I would want to multiply by 5 on both sides. Times 5 and divided by 5 would cancel, and 91 times 5 would give me 455. So I know that these five numbers, when I add them together, have to equal 455 for the average score to equal 91. So now let's go ahead and combine like terms and add up all the numbers. 87 plus 93 plus 96 plus 89 is 365. So 365 plus something equals 455. And now once again to treat this like an equation, I can subtract 365, subtract 365. 365 minus 365 will cancel and 455 minus 365 will give us our answer, which is 90. So the unknown test score that Abby needs in order to get an average of exactly 91 on her five quizzes is a 90. And that's our answer, choice A.